Dick, how are you doing? Good, Dick, how are you doing? President, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. That's good. Uh, I been working a little bit. I spent a day or two at home. And yeah, I noticed you. You must have had a nice visit down there, didn't you? Yeah, I had a day or two. You they... got some good publicity out of there with yeah. your statement. That was very good. Yeah, I put out one today on New York. I don't know. Uh, I had to say something. I said it in Mississippi and Georgia, and I just said that we worked with the local authorities. And we had to put a stop to this violence. Yeah, that's right. You had a little trouble out there, hadn't you? No. I was unfortunate. I thought I saw yesterday where you had a couple killed there. No, 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 uh -huh. not in Chicago. We haven't had an incident in very few last year either, other than, you know, magnified by the press. Mm -hmm. Our okay. people are in pretty good shape up to date. Uh, you always keep hoping, but we have some pretty good uh, programs on, and we've got in, into the community, and we're right in touch with the people, and, and uh, we try to nip anything before it gets going with any momentum on it. And this way, we, up to date, we've been very, very fortunate. Uh, Dick, uh, in uh, connection with my nomination, yeah. uh, do you have anybody uh, to who would you, would you like to use somebody? Uh, we had, uh, you remember, Dawson before. Oh, yeah. He, and I don't know whether you or whether him or your boy up here. Uh, Turner? Uh, no. No, no. Who's that? You're 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 a coming young star in the Congress, Roskinkowski. I don't know what kind of speaker he is. We want we want to try to get an image of young people if we can, and I want you to think about it. Don't have to decide it now. I'm gonna to try to get this little Italian boy from uh, Rhode Island, Johnny Pastore, maybe, yeah. to keynote it. He's a fiery speaker and a good one. Very good. Uh, I got a poll today. I thought I'd read to you if you've got it. Good. It was taken uh, right at the convention. Uh, it shows we dropped 10 points, mm -hmm. and he picked up 10 overall. I see. It shows that uh, that most in the south, the east is 74, 26. Mm -hmm. The south is Johnson, 45, Goldwater, 55. The Middle West, your area, is the same as the whole nation, 6436. The West is 6931. Oh, wonderful. The right. total for the nation is 6436. Right. A month before the convention, we were 7426. Uh, he says that uh, when they get a man to rally behind, a lot of them that uh, uh, they'll they'll be just all the Republicans will get to, that are going to vote Republican will come behind him pretty well. Uh, that they won't do when it's split up between Rockefeller and a bunch of others. He says that we can expect a little bit to uh, settle it down now, and he thinks after our convention, if we get by pretty good, that we might go up a little bit. But uh, he thinks that that's a pretty substantial drop, and he thinks the battleground will be the Midwest. Well, I, I, uh, I think he's right. He says you can't do much about changing civil rights in the South. That you, uh, the East is not going to change much because they're afraid of this fella. Yeah. He says the West is in pretty good shape, 69-31, and he may make some inroads, but... Uh, the Midwest is going to be the battleground, 64-36. Well, we'll be ready to battle them in Illinois. We started already with a massive registration yesterday at a meeting of our 80 leaders. And we're starting out holding meetings every week, and we're going to canvas every home starting September 1st, every home in Cook County on this registration. Oh, God, that's wonderful. We figure this is the answer to the whole problem. If we get the people registered, there ordinarily and will be in the Democratic column. But if we don't get them registered, everyone that we do not have registered, we lose two votes. Uh, I talked to McNamara at some length about your problem. Yeah. He says he doesn't think that he can materially change it between now and the election, although he'll try to help. Uh, if we get our poverty, we can go in and take care of a big bunch of young ones, and we're yeah. going to pass it, we hope, this week. But he says that 
he will take their companies out there, and he will see very quietly without anybody in on it but me and you, uh, see if he can't uh, uh, shift something out there that uh, might uh, be considered other places, and he'll give me a report on it, and I thought maybe I might uh, uh, just when he's out there on something else uh, without attracting attention and without him saying that we had a big uh, plot or conniving to hurt somebody, yeah. that uh, I might have him uh, give you a ring and you go by his, you go by his hotel because uh, I, I think that uh, I think it, uh, that we ought to do something about it and not get it balanced. I talked to the Science Advisory Committee and I told them you were a little bit concerned and you didn't know why the electronics industry was moving to Boston and to California and probably the educational part. They say, hell no, that you've got fine educational yeah, institutions. We've got better institutions in the Middle West. Yeah. They're all land-grant institutions. They, they, more PhD, we lose them. They say that's the trouble. They say you train them and then you lose them because you've got no company there to keep them. That's right, uh, Mr. President. I talked to them about it yesterday. Good. And McNamara will be in touch with you. Now, uh, I've got this problem. Uh, I've got another column this morning yeah. uh, in the New York News. Uh, I think it's something, I don't know whether you get it out there or not, but if you can get a copy of the New York News, you ought to get your boy, to get the colonel to go get you a copy of it. It's on page four. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember the author of it, but uh, uh, it's Paul Healy is the author. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Healy on page four. Now it says that it comes from the same source that the other comes by, and that uh, the uh, the northern people want uh, a certain individual, the bosses, and uh, oh, yeah. the uh, the uh, it's going to be trouble at the convention, and so on and so forth. I've about concluded that uh, the wise thing for me to do would be to call this fellow over and say, now, I've, uh, I've looked at Goldwater, and I've, uh, I see what's happened in Wallace, and I see our problem in the South and the Midwest, and uh, uh, I just don't believe that uh, uh, this number two thing, that I, I'm going to be able to recommend you and urge you, and I think you ought to know it. I think I kind of owe it to you, being in the cabinet. Uh, so that you don't think, uh, go ahead with your plans here, assuming that it's all right, because uh, I don't think it ought to go that far. Uh, the two things can come out of it. It can cause dissension within the party, or it can stop it. Now, what's your judgment? I don't, I don't, I think I'd think a little about that, because then that would be putting all the onus on you. Mm -hmm. And then you would... I think you might cause something that would be followed by other things. Uh, for instance, assume that he would resign. Mm -hmm. Then you'd have the thing right out in the open. Yeah. I would be, and then it would be that you yourself uh, took this position. I I really think that uh, for yourself it, it's a you know pretty uh, dangerous one, although it's something that you got to admire you for, but I, I really, I think that over a little while, because uh, realizing, you know, what's different if you were an old-timer in the rank with yourself or myself, but realizing the fact, then you never know what is going to be the consequence of that. Well, now... Uh, you're ready to beat that. No. I'd rather, I'd rather see us not have that kind of a thing up in the convention until well, after you're nominated. Well, now, my folks feel, uh, I've talked to some of the careful ones here, uh, uh, they think that this campaign's kind of going on. Well, uh, And that if uh, we don't nip it, that they're going to say, well, you were silent, and you kind of, in effect, allowed it to go on. And, uh... uh well, I, I don't, uh, after all, uh, we said that that's a natural thing to follow on the campaign. And, and then uh, if he has the, uh, you know, the people, but I, I think that I wouldn't be paying attention to these columnists because they, they just are trying to foment an argument in our party. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying to foment trouble 
in Atlantic City and they're just trying to cause trouble. Whereas if, if, if this action you're talking about, you take it, then there's no doubt about it. Then there, there is a cause for for action on the other person by saying, well, I was told uh, the delegates haven't had a chance. If the delegates have a chance, if any executive committee or anything else are, are conferring with you, then you keep yourself in the position entirely clear of the situation at all times and, and saying, well, uh, at the proper time, but I don't think this is any time to be uh, making that decision. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's, uh, of course, I, I know what they're trying to do here. So they're trying to say, we've got to get this thing clearly uh, demonstrated where we stand, otherwise something's liable to happen. They think. I don't see that, though, unless they're paying attention. See, the worst city in the United States for rumor and gossip is Washington. Yeah. And you know that. You were there 32 years. And uh, frankly, whereas we out in the prairies, we don't pay too much attention to columnists or to newspapers or anything else. We just try to keep getting the facts. Now, unless someone is misinforming me tremendously, I don't see this thing mm. developing. Mm. I don't see evidence. You see some of it on a little basis, but I don't see any mass uh, campaigning. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, you see, uh, well, I think they, uh, they, my people think they're relying primarily on emotionalism. They think that most of these delegates that go there will be delegates that were there in 60. That's right. And will be people that like the name and were friendly. Yeah. And that, uh, uh, that they'll have a demonstration and they'll say, well, now, uh, this man didn't get to finish his job and, uh, well, I, he's got a lot of friends and we need this name and, uh, we just, uh, ought to, ought to go ahead and, uh, he give him a vote. But then what happens, uh, I'm not only thinking about the convention, I'm thinking of what happens after the convention. Yeah. I'm thinking of what happens in the election. Yeah. This is fine for the convention, yeah. but in the election, I don't want to, I, I hope we can work it in such a way that you're not the one uh, to uh, give this information uh -huh. or to tell anyone. Yeah. That, uh, it would be by the vote of the convention, yeah. and this would be a much better way for you yeah. uh, individually. And then looking at it beyond the, the uh, Atlantic City, well, don't you think, though, that uh, if it's not to be him, I'm going to have to say that I want somebody else? You will. Oh, you will at the proper time. Mm -hmm. But I don't think this is the time. I think we're we're, we're, we're allowing, to let them keep talking as long as you keep talking to the heads of the delegations and the different people, and you have confidence in them. Well, well I they've it. got integrity and they've got some... I haven't talked to anybody but you and I, Lawrence. Yeah. Well, the rest of them, I've been talking to them. They don't see it. Uh, and Dave doesn't see it. I had a long talk with him. Uh, and I think uh, you might create a situation that would be far uh, more out of balance than if it took its natural course. Well, I think I think there's some merit in what you say. Uh, I don't want I don't want them to leave. I don't want my silence though to uh, to indicate that uh, that I approve of what they're doing. Well, I I, I agree with you, but don't forget that uh, uh, you, you might do it with a uh, but to do it the way you're mentioning. Then that 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 removes all the uncertainty entirely, as far as he's concerned. And then what is the ultimate result? What is he liable to do? I don't know. I don't think you do. And that's the only thing that concerns me, and I wouldn't like to see that happen. Well, would it be better to happen a month ahead of time or better to happen the day before the nomination? Well, it would be better, in my opinion, uh, granting everything is all right, to do it the day before the nomination. Mm -hmm. Or the day after, the, the night of the nomination. Because I, I think the, the mere fact that you're you're in the position you're in now is, is favorable to you, although I know a lot of people are pushing you to act and want you to act and feel that if you get it behind you, you're better off. But I, I don't think uh, when you weigh the equities of it that that's a good situation. I think that you 
have control of the entire situation at all times. You don't think that anybody that of consequence is likely to go away from us by waiting? No, not at all. Not at all. And I don't see any of it. No, we've seen every evidence of it. If we've seen any state convention meeting and taking action, this would be a different thing. But we don't see that. Or if you've seen any movement of people calling and, and, and doing different things, then that would uh, indicate some activity. But I don't see any of that up to date. I don't know if you have. No, I I hear of it, but uh, not not of it, not of anything with a fellow like you, or Lawrence, or somebody that's pure.